Hi everyone, this is Telemachus. A couple of days ago, I uploaded this video where I showcase a couple of tricks to break malware signatures and bypass Windows Defender, and some people raised a great question, why did you do this on Windows 10 instead of 11? So I decided to use these tricks again, and this time compare the two versions, 10 versus 11, see what happens. Let's check out the setup for today. We have a Windows 10 Pro box. This cell corresponds to that. I run the system info command just to see the OS version and system type. Here we have a Windows 11 Pro VM that is running on the cloud and I have done remote desktop inside. Also, I run the system info command. We can see the details here. And we have a third machine also on the cloud. It's a Linux machine and we are going to use it to grab our cells if we make it. And uh, I chose to use a Linux machine on the cloud because uh, to set up listeners because now I don't have to pour forward, this, both of these machines can reach this one uh, without any uh, routing, so it's convenient. Let's check out Windows Defender status. Uh, on the Windows 10 Pro box, uh, the security intelligence last updated today, earlier today, and the seals are on. And on the Windows 11 Pro machine, it also last updated earlier today, but it's taking for updates, I don't know for how long now. I try to wait, but this video will never end if I wait. So let's see also that our seeds are up. Everything is on and I think we can begin. So let's begin. We're going to use refsets.com to generate a reversal payload. Uh, I'm going to grab this server's public IP. This is where we're going to connect back to. I'm going to replace it. Here we're going to use a high port because the crawlers of the internet might reach our listener. We're going to use a template. Any of this would work, but I don't know. Let's just take this one. We're going to grab it. Let's try the Windows 10 Pro box first. So we're going to set up a listener. And this is definitely not going to work. So let's see if it will work. Oh, sorry, I have to, I have to change something here. This will not work out of the box. This would be flagged as malicious. So I'm gonna do the first trick I used in the previous video, and I replaced PWD with split path, and we're gonna do this again. And the path is going to be. Um, this and here it can be a random string so let's see if this will work okay this worked um, here is the the, the silts are up and running and this died just now I don't know why so let's uh, let's close this connection we are start we will start the listener again and now let's copy this and see if it's gonna work on Windows 11 defender correct this okay one will be enough it's happening nothing is happening oh wow important it doesn't work here can we fool this somehow let's see what if we had a weird long string here no it's too cheap to work but if we had not a long weird string, but we had something like uh, dot substring zero to, I'm giving something random here actually. Missing end parenthesis expression. I'm, I completely screwed this up. Yes, we were missing one parenthesis here. No. Windows 11 Defender is unbeatable. I don't know what to say. Okay, I'm pissed here now. I'm gonna start over. We'll try something new. Let's say ast equals pwd. I'm gonna put this also in double quotes. And I'm gonna go here and say that this is equal to uh, we'll delete this asked I don't think it's gonna work but I am decided to do whatever it takes here 
Okay. Um, let's deform this a little bit. No, that was cheap. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go berserk here. <laughs> I'm gonna add all of the techniques. I don't think it's gonna work anything that we tried before. Uh, so let's combine them. Let's make this a challenge. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna keep building this up until we get a cell. Boom. No, not yet. Doesn't matter, we'll get there. You know what? This is also something we can play with. And if it still doesn't like it, it's okay. Let's apply something more now. Okay, this is the latest Windows Defender we're dealing with. This is no fool here. We're gonna apply some quotes, single quotes in between command let's characters. I'm gonna go at the beginning too. Okay, if it catches this, I'm closing the video and I'm giving up. Okay. Okay, now now we're talking. We got something here to work with. We massacred the cell a little bit, but okay, we combined these ideas and we we got somewhere. Okay, this was really fun. Let's do one more. Let's start from the beginning. First payload. Let's start with Windows 10, see what happens. Actually, in the previous video, I did this trick here. I just went to the IP address string and I used the substring function to fool this a little bit. That I'm returning a substring of this, but I am actually returning the whole string. And actually, this worked last time. Where is the listener? It's right here, listening, waiting. Let's run this and see. Okay, it worked. And actually, the seals are on. Okay, this works on Windows 10, and I'm after what I saw, I'm pretty sure this is not going to be the case with uh, Windows Defender 11. So, if we run this, yeah, it was a total disaster. Okay, let's try a few more things. We also tried something desperate last time, among many other things. Uh, we crippled the cell. This line that I deleted is supposed to create recreate this uh, prompt right here but we can just have something really randomly small here doesn't seem to work here something else we can do is the classic and favorite adding single quotes between commandlets characters and this seems to be really effective generally speaking Maybe we can bypass it one more time. We never give up. We will keep try trying until something works. That doesn't seem to do it. We will add here also. Let's see if... Did it work? Actually, this worked. We just didn't have the listener on. Let's see this. No, it doesn't work. No, I, I broke something here. It doesn't work. And I'm not sure what... Oh, no, it, it does work. Yes, we have our crippled cell. But uh, we did it. We combined these tricks and one of these variations actually did the trick. So there is one more thing I want to check out. Because it's significantly more difficult on Windows 11 Defender to, you know, alter a little bit the payload and get a different signature bypass Defender. It seems to be doing much better. So, and we kind of went into the fight without the sword here. So, I'm gonna use a tiny bit of automation that I used also in the first example. And I'm gonna open Parcel here. We are gonna grab this payload again and we're gonna put it fresh as it is in a file. We're gonna name it payload. 
I'm gonna save it in here. And we're gonna use the script randomize variables and here's what it's gonna do. Randomize variables, payload. We're gonna run this against this file with the payload. And this is gonna generate a version that is exactly as we copied it, the original version of the payload and one that is with randomized variable names. And we're, I, th I believe, and now we can verify it, that we have uh, better chances to slightly alter this payload and make it work because this version, the original that we have been using all this time, we with, with Windows uh, 11, we got our ass kicked. So I want to find out if this actually has any meaning. And this is not what we need. We need this. Okay. So it's the payload, exactly the same, just random variables. And we're gonna try a few cheap tricks again. Let's do the substring here now. Zero, 13. And yeah, actually it worked. So I think randomizing the variable names of your payload is a great start to begin with because here we, uh, we just did a tiny uh, change and it worked immediately and we're up with the shields let's do one more because it's really fun you stop load again uh, let's remove this substring thing we'll remove it And let's try the split string again that we did at the beginning and we we really failed. I failed. So we will replace this here with split path path and here we're gonna put this pwd and the random string and the first time this Remember, remember what we needed to do to eventually make this work. It was really hard, and now it doesn't work. I don't know what's happening. Let's wait. Maybe later. Nothing. Probably I broke it somehow. Not really sure what's going on here. It doesn't seem to get detected. It doesn't. Oh, connection received. But I closed it because I thought it was actually dead. So I'm going to run it one more time. Exactly the same. Connection received. Yes, this worked. Randomizing the variables. I think we found some, some key detail here. So there's one more thing. After everything I saw today with Defender on Windows 11 that is doing so well, I want to try one more thing. I've tried this actually and I've, I've made some screenshots and stuff. And I, I'm talking about this tool, uh, it's called Villain, and it generates uh, backdoor payloads. And also you can use this option that automatically obfuscates the payload for you. So I want to see if this is going to work on a Windows 11 machine and have it on video. And uh, I believe I have this tool installed on this VM. No? Okay. It's right here. Some of the characters are bad because... I'm running this through SSH on a command line on Windows. I don't know. Probably something is not working very well, but the program we can definitely use. And I'm going to generate a backdoor. Uh, and I believe it's the F0. I'm wondering because this is a VM on the cloud. So, okay, obfuscate. We're going to use the utility that it has to automatically obfuscate. Copying the payload directly to my clipboard failed probably because this is through a tunnel so i'm gonna copy this paste it in here and hopefully now we're gonna get a session and defender is up and running and i'm running this okay yes we got a backdoor session this is the ip of the vm of the windows 11 vm so if i do sessions i can see windows 11 pro telemachus this is the user i have here so i'm gonna grab the session id and do cell 
and paste that in here. And now I can run commands on that machine. So also uh, something you can do to grab a cell really quickly, really quickly at, until now it works at least. We'll see in the future. This was really educational for me. I learned from this. I hope you did too. If you liked it, please subscribe and make sure to check out Villain also. And thanks for watching.